Hello everyone, my name is Jacob and I'm from Pals. Today I'm going to introduce to you a board game called Mankal. It is an African indigenous board game which is played throughout the whole regions of Africa. Well, in different countries in Africa they call it in different names, but where I come from in South Africa we call it Mankal. This is a very strategic board game whereby you have to think strategically how to beat your opponent because while your opponent is playing you have to be thinking how you can outbeat your opponent and have a way of playing as long as you can so that you can outbeat your opponent this as i said it is a strategic game you can play it as individuals but you need to have two people to play which one will be your opponent and yourself or you can also play as a group in this case, you can have your mom versus your dad and you with your sister as, as partners. So it, is, it all depends on you how you want to play as a group or as individuals. So I'm going to show you how Mankala looks on the board. Firstly, you need to draw up a board which looks like this. Firstly, on your board, you need to draw 10 blocks on one side of the board and then draw another 10 blocks on the other side of the block for you and your opponent. Secondly, you need to have four stones on each and every block. So in total, you're going to need 40 stones on this side and then 40 stones on the other side for you and your opponent. And then importantly, you're going to need a bank. This block, we call it the bank. And then on the other side as well, you're going to need to have the bank as well. I'm going to show you how we play this game and how we use the banks as uh, our source. Now, the important thing about this game is you have to bank as many stones as you can into your bank. So you need to have a strategic way of playing the game. So now I'm going to show you how we play the game in a chore. So I'm going to show you how to play the game. And remember, you can start anywhere you want to start because this is your strategy on how you want to play. So I'm going to start on this block. See, I'm taking from this block and then I'm going to proceed playing. I'm going to put one stone in each and every block. And then when I get to the bank, I put one stone as well because remember the purpose is to bank as many stones as you can in your bank and then proceed to play because i still have stones in my hand now i have one stone left in my hand and the next block that i am going to be playing at got stones so if i have one stone left it means i'm going to take all these stones in this block like i've done and proceed to play like i'm doing so I continue one stone each and every block and now I still have one stone in my hand and the next block have stones, I proceed to take stones. I play and continue like that. And then when I reach here to the bank, I also put a stone and then because I still have stones on my hand, I proceed to play again. As I told you, this it's a strategic game that you have to play as long as you can. So you need to be uh, strategic and wise. Now, I have one stone in my hand. However, this block that I'm going to be playing at, it's an empty block. Then it means this is where my play ends. And then it's going to be my opponent's turn to play. So my opponent is going to play now. So my opponent has four stones and an empty block, he proceeds to play. And then he bangs one stone and then proceeds to play as like that. Now he has one stone, then he takes all of those stones from that block and then proceeds to play one stone each and every block, like he is doing here. He proceeds, one stone left in his hand, he proceeds to play again. He will go on like he's doing, until he reaches now he is at the bank he bangs one stone because that is the purpose to try to bank as much stones as you can he still has a stone proceeds to play 
Now he proceeds and play again, like he's doing very good. His soul is doing very well. But now he has last stone and the uh, the spot is empty. Then that means end of play for him over there. Yes. And now it will be my turn as his opponent. Then remember, I decide to play wherever I want to play as it is my strategy. As he was playing, I was thinking, how am I going to do this? Then I decided to play from here. Then it's, I proceed to play. And because I want to bank as many stones, I started there and I proceed to play. One stone at a time. One stone at a block. Then I have one last stone. Then I proceed to play because I still have stones on my hand and the last block had stones. Then I bank and proceed to play because I still had a stone on hand. Ooh, ooh, that is my strategy and I'm playing as long as I'm going to be able to play. One stone, oh, very well. And then end of play because I no longer have stones on my hand. Now it's going to be my opponent's play to play. He started to play from there and then he's going to play one stone at a time and then yes this is the important part now his last play is at the bank and when it is at the bank then it means that will be his last uh, play for him because he doesn't have more stones in his hand to proceed to play and then it will be my turn to play as his opponent so the purpose of this game for you to win is to bank all your stones into the bank before your opponent does it. So it should look like this for you to win the game. And initially, your stones were like this, but after playing all your cycles around here, banking each and every stone one at a time into your bank, then it will end up looking like this, your side of the bank of the board game, actually. It will be empty while your opponent's side will still have some stones then it means you have won and this game can be played uh, everywhere by anyone and it could be enjoyed under this tree if you like with your friends or you can play it uh, during the day sitting at the garden with your friends or you can play during those winter days you can play it indoors uh, so basically it can be enjoyed everywhere and it is also nice to play it with uh, a team uh, so that you can build your communication skills and it also works on uh, building up your, your, your team abilities, how to work as a team, how to communicate with your team and uh, be creative around your team. And yeah, so it builds up a lot of uh, mental power into you and also you can create your own rules around this if you like like for instance uh, you can create a rule that says touch is the move because if uh, which means if you touch a stone therefore it means you automatically have to play it so it leads you to before you can play or making your move you have to sit and think strategically and have a vision before you can play because once you touch the stone then it means you you have to move so it is enjoyed in different ways, creating your own rules, playing as a team, uh, playing everywhere where you like to play with your friends. So yeah, it is so many ways to enjoy this game. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you're going to have fun with it. This is Mankala from Africa.